Hi, everyone. Okay, so today is July 5th. I'm sorry, July 5th. I'm sorry, August 5th, <laughs> Monday. So um, last night while I was watching the Olympics, my mom had came up to me and said that she wanted to go um, to the bin stores for um, $2 day, which I was kind of surprised um, that she wanted to because we typically don't go on $2 day. But you know, why not? I hadn't been in such a long time. So I was curious to see what they would have. And I was actually able to find a lot of stuff. Actually, when I walked in the store, I was shocked at the amount of stuff that they still had on $2 day. So um, let's go ahead and get started. So in no particular order, first thing I pull out of the, ba the my bag is this um, keycap set. So as you can see, it's pink. Um, which is kind of fitting because the next item I will show you um, kind of goes well with it. Uh, everything, fortunately, they had put it in the bag because everything was falling out. And on top of that, um, nobody opened this bag so that all of it would just fall, you know, be scattered around in the um, bin like at the other store, store number two. So I like these because this is a higher... Um, Geez, I can't think of what the profile is, but I tend to like these type of keys more so than some of the other ones. Um, it's, let me pull it out here. If I can, I'm gonna have to put them all back in. Oh my God, that's so tight because there's a piece on the side there. There we go. So it looks like it's all pink and white. Um, pink is not one of my favorite colors, but I don't mind. Um, it's at least it's not like a obnoxious pink color. It's a pastel, you know, kind of baby pink. So yeah, this is the set. Let me see why it had fallen out. Yeah, I like this because like I said, the like, I, I don't remember the profile, but it's just a higher um, profile. And I, I find that I do type a little bit better with um, key, key caps that are like this. So I just want to get the cover out so I can put it back in properly. Somebody, whoever returned this did not put it in right. Oh my God, that's so annoying. Okay, so I'm pretty sure what happened is that, yeah, see that all of these are supposed to go in. So before I, Put this away. I'm just going to put them all in here because I don't want it to be all floating around in the bag since I've already messed up the bag. But um, yeah, like I said, there were actually there were a lot of people at the store, um, and um, yeah, there was a lot more bins than usual. Well, than on Dollar Day, and um, a lot more like bigger boxes left, which was kind of surprising, I guess, because, you know, over the week, um, over the weekend, more of the big boxes tend to be, um, bought because sometimes those are the bigger ticketed items and people seem to, um, well, you know, they think that every big box is going to be a big ticket item and it's not always the case. Sometimes they don't realize that, uh, you know, the, the higher price items are actually going to be underneath. So they tend to go for that. But um, I actually had a hard time with some of the bins because those big, I mean, they were actually, they were packed. Those bins were packed and um, it was kind of hard sifting through because there was so much stuff on top. So I, I didn't do, I mean, I did, I did a thorough job looking at everything on some of the bins, but the ones that were really, really packed, I was just, I just didn't have the patience. Um, I'm going to go back again tomorrow for dollar day and hopefully those bins will be um, either they'll kind of like spread it out a little bit more or they will, um, you know, that stuff will be gone. So, yeah. All right. So that is that keycap set. Oh, crap. There's still one more in there. That's the thing that sucks about keycaps because they kind of get everywhere. Oh. And, um. I tend to not store them in these boxes um, after I've used them. I'll just put them in a Ziploc bag. <laughs> it's just easier that way. And then I can just put it like in a bin. I mean, a, like a plastic container, all of them and just be done. It just makes it for me. It just makes it easier to store. 
Okay, so we got that. I'm going to look up what this set is. So I don't even know the, it doesn't even have like a brand. So, okay. So then the second item, if I can get it, like I said, pink. This was the first one that I found and it's also in pink. This is a coiled cable for your um, mechanical keyboard. And I've said it in the past before that I do love mechanical keyboards because I love typing on them, you know? So, this is like perfect because it actually matches. It doesn't, you know, they weren't, they were actually not even in the same bin. Um, but I like these type of cords better for my, um, for my computer. Let's see. Hold on here. Oh, okay. For a second there, I was like, wait, it's supposed to be USB-C, but now I see it. It's right here. Okay. Um, yeah, I like using these much more than using the um, cords that come you know, with the keyboard, I just, I don't know. I just feel like they, it's just aesthetic really is for aesthetic purposes, to be honest. And they last longer too. So I don't have the problem with my keyboard losing, you know, connection and stuff. Okay. So I guess it goes oh, in like that. All right. So I got those two. Um, let's see what else. Oh, I was really happy to find this. This was the last item that I found. It's a date stamp. Now, these go for a lot because I remember needing to, I was thinking about ordering one for us over um, at the clinic when I was working there, but um, what did I just do with that thing? But I didn't because it was just so pricey on Amazon, you know? And um, this did not come in a box. Hold on, because I just brought... Oh my God, I just brought the freaking post-it notes and I don't even know where I put them. That is so weird. Okay, anyways, so it works. And I actually needed this because I don't have, there is one other um, date stamp that I have. It's a Heidi Swap date stamp, um, but it's kind of like in a cursive kind of script. And I like to use that in my journal, but sometimes, you know, you just want a plain stamp right? And all the other ones that I have that I've bought in the past are actually old. Like they don't have, they like expired, expired, meaning that the latest year on it was 2023, some of them even 2022. So, and I had bought all of those from Tuesday morning, God, probably back in 2014, maybe, or 2013. So, um, uh, you know, when I was trying to find a date stamp, I'm like, oh my God, I can't even use them because the year is like already passed. So I ended up having to buy that Heidi Swap one from uh, Hobby Lobby. And um, I, like I said, I love it. But if I want a plain one, then now I have this and it's inked up. So it stamps really well. So yeah, I like using this in my um, Hobonichi A5 because I'm using an old one. Like I think it's from 2022. Uh was, you know, brand new. I found it over at the bin store. So I use that kind of like as a, um, overflow from my A6. So really happy to find that. And it's easy to re-ink those. I can always get the, um, the ink. So the last three items that I have here are skincare and makeup. So first thing I have here is this Abib Jericho Rose Cream. So the box is a little beat up, but it is authentic and it's never been used because I looked and the seal is still there. So this is a moisturizer and they say it's best to use probably at night. I'm pretty sure this is going to be really good for me to use um, in the winter because they said it's, it's just really, really moisturizing. And this expires in 2026. That's what it looks like. Yeah. So it's hard to find, you know, a bid stuff. I was really happy to find this. This was not in the bin that they normally put all of the beauty products in. They, they usually have a bin that's got beauty products slash food, and it wasn't there. I found this um, in one of the other bins. But what I did find in that bin with the beauty stuff was this. Now, this is a Chinese brand. I've seen this on Amazon. Um, it's pretty cheap. I think it's like $8.99. It's another sunstick. 
The only problem is that I can't find how what SPF this is. It doesn't have it on the packaging. And on the Amazon, um, in the, on the Amazon store, a lot of people are kind of questioning too. It's like, what is the um, SPF? So I'm going to have to research. Might have to go on um, Yes Style or somewhere else on the web and try to find out what the SPF is. But this one is supposed to be good for oily skin because it's matte. So um, I may just use this one in the winter instead and stick with, oh, okay, maybe this is the reason why it was returned. Whoa, it's not coming up. Oh, damn it, that sucks. What the heck? <laughs> hmm, that's really odd that it's doing that. Yeah, I'm going to have to figure out. I was so excited to find this, and here I bought it for $2. So, um, and I don't think it's empty. I just think that the this thing here at the bottom is broken. That's really odd. So, well, there goes $2. That sucks, because I hadn't seen any sun sticks for a while over at the uh, bin store. So... Okay, and then the last item I found was this Wonder Skin Lip Stain, which I actually love. I'm so glad. This one is in First Kiss. Let me see if I can get this to focus. So I actually am wearing it now. Um, this is quite interesting because you would think that, okay, that's the color it's supposed to be, but, and it was unopened when I got, when I got this. Look at this. It's this kind of like violet right? So that's what happens when you apply it. It actually looks like this crazy color on your lips, but then you put it on, you let it sit for about 15 to 20 minutes, 20 seconds. Sorry. You want it, the stain to be a lot deeper than you leave it on for 30 seconds. And then you just take a damp, you know, damp cloth tissue, whatever, and then wipe it off. And then your lips are pretty much stained for the rest of the day. I don't know where that came from. I've got some kind of thing on there. And, um, that's, it's interesting because it is pretty much this color. It's actually a nice color on my lips. I do like it. So in the future, um, I may try a different color. I think it goes for like $25 on Amazon. So that's not bad. You know, I like a lip stain because I don't like wearing lipstick. And it's something I don't have to worry about, you know, the rest of the day having to reapply. Um, so yeah, this was a really good steal. So that's pretty much everything that I got today at $2 day. Um, I'm going to go back again tomorrow for $1 day just to see if they have some of the items that I did put back, because if they do, then I might go, go ahead and purchase it, but I will go to store number two and see what they have. All right. So I'll be back again. Bye. Okay, so I didn't go to the second store. I actually stayed home, but I'm going to go ahead and show you a video that I shot at store number one of some items that I um, found, but I also didn't get. So this is a bag smart bag that's, it's a, I guess, like a toiletry bag. I know the brand. I've seen it um, on Amazon, and it's pretty popular because I've also seen it on Instagram. And then the second item I'm pulling out is that coiled cable for the mechanical keyboard that I did pick up. And then I also found this um, smartphone holder for the car, which I was going to show my mom, but in the end didn't get because I think it was missing a part. So let's see what else I got here. Um, and then this is the keyboard set, <clears throat> or the keycap set that I did pick up. Um, and then I did find this Instax Wide. Wow, for $2. Um, there's the ABIB moisturizer that I did get. And then the date stamp that I also picked up. And the sun stick, which does work. I just had to kind of shake it around. I think it was just stuck on the side, but it works. I should have got this. This was the nature, the face shop, rice, water, bright. Um, it's like a, yeah. And then this one was a three pack for the hand, the hair, and the feet. Like, um, like some kind of like, you know, mask. And then there's the wonder skin, um, lip stain that I got. So that's it. All right, guys. So I'll see you next week.